We are on our way to Whitefish, Montana, just leaving Sandpoint, Idaho. We have got our first rain of the trip. It's gotten pretty chilly here. It's 55 degrees and it's rainy. So I think that may be a sign of what we've got for the next few days. Uh, I had a great night again last night in Sandpoint. Uh, we found a restaurant that we thought was really good. It was called The Fat Pig. And if you're ever in town, I would suggest that restaurant. The menu is much more creative than the other ones that we found in town and the food was just fantastic. The atmosphere in the restaurant was great. So, you know, nice little find here in Sandpoint. We're gonna head north today. We're gonna go through Bonner's Ferry and cut north through the Kootenai National Forest and uh, see what the sights are. So hopefully this rain knocks down some of the fires for these guys too. They really need it. We're just inside the Montana border and we found a fantastic place to stop for lunch. We're on the banks of the Kootenai River in the Kootenai National Forest. And as you can see, we've got a beautiful river. We got fantastic scenery. It's quiet, it's peaceful. You couldn't ask for a better place to stop for lunch. This is actually in the Yak River. That's Yak with two A's. Yak River campground portion of the park. So if you're ever coming through on US 2, this is a great place to stop. We are in Whitefish, Montana. We're camping at the Whitefish Lake State Park. Heating up water for dinner. We're gonna do some more dehydrated food and just uh, kind of kicking off the evening. On the drive over on US 12, Montana border to here, there were some excellent camping sites. It looked like a lot of lakes alongside the road and national forest and just a ton of camping areas. McGregor Lake and some of the smaller lakes uh, on that road. If you're in the area, definitely check those areas out, uh, whether you're looking for something dispersed in the National Forest or you're looking for a more formal campground. Uh, it looked like the area was, was definitely full of those. are fortunate to be sitting around a campfire in Whitefish, Montana. They just recently lifted the fire ban. We had some rain today, so that was a nice change and I'm sure the firefighters in the area were thankful for the rain. We're just finishing out the night. The lake is just over yonder. It's still as can be at this point. We've got the fire, we're done with dinner. We're just having a wee nip before we uh, settle in for the night. So, cheers and thanks for watching. Got the sun coming up over Whitefish Lake this morning. It's really an awesome view. Weather-wise, it was a decent night. I think it was in the mid-40s or the low. So a nice, decent night to sleep. It looks like it's gonna be a gorgeous day today. So we're gonna explore the whitefish area a little bit. Welcome to the wonderful Whitefish Lake Diner, also known as our campsite. Here is our fancy kitchen that we've used on this trip. Thought I'd give you a quick rundown. We are making a wonderful Spam breakfast this morning. We've got some diced Spam. We're gonna make some hash browns. If you've never had the hash browns from Costco, the dehydrated ones, they're really tasty. And Ova Easy eggs, which is the egg crystal we've talked about in the past. And all I'm using for the kitchen on this trip, I have the Banks Fry Bake Pan. I've got the firebox stove, and given that we did have a bit of rain here and it's been really wet, 
we are using the Trongia butane burner inside the firebox stove. So that's it. That's what we've used this entire trip for cooking and it's worked fantastically.